They such an increase in the set of food and investment cannot be generated in the stimuli arising in the local economy, then they must come from an expansion of the ratio of both exports and private capital to our GDP. Since management of the fiscal deficit is at the center of the relationship, if the government's fiscal planning is significantly off the mark, and if its policies to suppress activity are too severe, then the relationship that hold the economy together will go here wire, and the crisis at the downward spiral will continue. Our evaluation of the statistics and the targets set out in the medium term fiscal strategy document leads to the inference that this is a likely scenario that no confronts our business. First, the government is proposing to undertake an unnecessarily large contraction of its own activities, which will increase the extent of the activities that the private sector and the households will have to generate to compensate for the decline in public sector demand. Secondly, both the private sector and our households are themselves facing major stresses and pressures even before the implementation of government contraction measures. The nature of the measures contained in the medium term fiscal strategy will further aggravate the already distressed conditions of both our private sector and our households. It means, therefore, that if Barbados is to put back on a sustainable growth path, there has to be a surge in both exports and private capital inflows beyond historically recorded levels to make up for the likely shortfalls in domestic, public, and public sector activities. Changes to our international trade relationship, however, are likely to make this difficult. By any test of reasonable support, the program contained in the medium term fiscal strategy suggests that none of this will be achieved. I do first with the proposed response to the fiscal problem of this paper. The conditions for sustainable development in Barbados have been based in part over the years on the policy that a government should incur only manageable fiscal deficit in the order of no more than 2.5% of our GDP. The real significance in this ending, I say to you that membership of the European Union and support for the European Union's common currency is based on the realization by its members of a deficit of no more than 3% of its GDP. Barbados' fiscal stand has therefore been based on an index that reflects international debt standards. More to the point, in the 16 years between 1991, since 1991, sorry, the annual fiscal deficit recorded by the government has, has averaged 2.1% of GDP. It has exceeded the 2.5% target marginally on two occasions, and significantly in 2002, in the aftermath of the September 11th debacle, when a consecutive fiscal policy was called upon to help stabilize our economy.